thanks for joining me. Today we're going to talk about hate mail. Yes, comments, negative comments, comments that hurt. So I've been writing for Harry and the Rideshare Guy for over two years, a lot of articles, a lot of videos. Today I'm going to pick out a few videos and we're going to look at some of the comments. I just cracked open a nice cold Leo because here I am in Thailand and this is a popular beer here. And uh, stick around because at the end of the video I'm going to share with you what, what stung me the most. Hey everybody, it is Jay with the Rideshare Guy. I am drinking a cold Leo. Let's see, it's uh, 2.15 in the afternoon. I don't normally drink at all, let alone at 2.15. But Harry asked me to write, uh, make a video and drink a, a beer and share with you my hate mail. So we're going to jump right in. All right, the first, uh, the first video I'm going to pull is uh, called uh, How I Use Led Zeppelin to Get More Tips. And, you know, I was looking at the comments and I came down to this one here. You know, a lot of people love it on Led Zeppelin. Oh, that's great. That's great. And then this guy, Dan Eveli Flores. I can... <laughs> Let me hide this first. Um, says, I cannot believe Harry approved this video. And when I read that, I just, my heart sank because uh, I really pushed Harry because I really wanted to write an article that had Led Zeppelin in it because I'm such a fan. And uh, just today, I saw that uh, Harry actually replied to this guy. <laughs> Why? I think it's great. And you should check out our upcoming article on this topic too. And then this guy, Dan Evel, Evil. Uh, not everyone like Led Zeppelin. I do not think it's the best to play relaxation. He thinks it's better to play relaxation music, which of course, uh, anyone who's read any of my articles or videos knows that's absolutely the case. But I'm making a point here that you can uh, vibe with somebody, especially if they're in your age group, that uh, uh, would definitely love Led Zeppelin. The second video was very controversial. I wrote it in February of last year. Um, it was called how to screen your rideshare passengers. It got 45,000 views. And as I scroll down here, um, you know, mixed, mixed, but nothing, uh, nothing terrible. Then I came to this, um, Chad, the gig economist, uh, Jay Jerry. So you can just call me Jay, Chad. Um, this is terrible advice. Uh, how much time, miles, gas did you waste just driving to the rider only to cancel on them when you're around the corner? Now you either have to sit there and wait for another ride to come or drive somewhere else on dead miles. You just ate up all that time mileage gas with zero compensation. That's the whole point. The whole point is I didn't want to take the ride because it would cost me money. It would not allow me to reach a bonus or it would take me over a bridge in heavy traffic. And that's why it would make sense to wait another five freaking minutes and get a better ride. Um, so it frustrates me sometimes. Um, uh, because people don't seem to understand what I'm saying, right? Here's another one, Mark Shetterly, which this one was stung. While I understand why you want to screen, scream rides, I think this way of doing it is kind of shitty, and here's why. The rider can see where you are on the app, and they can see that you're heading their way, so they think they're about to get picked up. Then when you get close, suddenly they get notified that the ride was canceled. You have now just completely wasted their time by driving almost to where they are and then canceling. There's a way to screen rides without doing this it would be fine. Um, but doing this sucks. Well, Mark, again, that's the whole point. Uber and Lyft do not tell us where we're going. We have to play this stupid freaking game in order to find out where we're going. And it is not great for the passenger, but who's more important in your life, you or the passenger? That's really the question. And after I lost money by taking rides and getting stuck in traffic and not getting bonuses, I realized I come first. And because Uber and Lyft have set it up this way, sometimes a passenger has to wait another five or eight minutes to get a ride. Some guy made a whole video uh, ripping me apart. Uh, this guy uh, called the Rideshare Professor. And every time, uh, I, I just, every time somebody Googles me, the first thing that comes up is this guy's video. He's like destroyed my Google presence with his bullshit um, screening passengers. And he even says BS. So if you listen to what he says. Good morning to my YouTube subscribers, to my ride share friends. Oh. I, I've lost all respect for this Jay Crudeur guy, right? Um, he, I think he used to make good videos. And then he brings out this one video. I'm going to include the link. And this, this video flat out teaches you, the driver, how to 
Serves a drink of Leo. <laughs> so, this guy hated on me. Uh, let's see, my video got 45,000 views. His got 9,000. And if you read the comments of his own people, they think he's totally off base. Uh, Uberleaf need to be berated, not Jay, with all due respect, Professor. Um, does, I truly believe he's exercising a right that all of us should have. Don't blame Jay, blame Lyft and Uber. Um, <laughs> I like many of your videos and I'd like to thank you for your efforts. Applauding you sincere intentions. I respectfully disagree with you on this rideshare professor. So <laughs> I don't think he did himself any favors here. And then he just made another video applauding me for uh, taking uh, Uber and Lyft to court. So I guess the tide has turned and I'm okay with the rideshare professor. I wish you could get this video banished so it doesn't uh, show up when, uh, when you do a Google search of me. Um, I went to Thanksgiving and my niece said to me, you know, there's a guy on the internet, he really doesn't like you. I mean, that's how this stuff seeps into your life. And that's part of the reason I don't even look at these comments really, um, unless Harry asked me to go and drink a beer and read my hate mail. The uh, last one, and the one that um, stung me the most is one that just came out in December. Uh, Uber and Lyft owe me $600,000 and I'm going to get it. Um, so basically there's a lot of people that feel like me taking Uber and Lyft, um, you know, filing a suit against them is wrong. It's just wrong. And um, they don't think I should do it. And they're worried they're worried that I am somehow going to personally bankrupt Uber and Lyft. Uber, Uber who lost $5 billion in a three month period all by themselves, my little lawsuit isn't gonna be a hill of beans uh, to them. Um, okay, now I wanna share with you uh, how much I appreciate the audience, okay? So there are definitely people that have issues with some of the things that I've shared, but when I read these reviews today, I, I was so happy and I felt so um, proud of the work that I do. This is the video called Three Lessons Learned After 26,000 Uber and Lyft Rides. It came out in December and 14,000 views. Just listen to this. Jay, I like your attitude about driving. Love that statement, took the words out of my mouth. Jay, you're amazing, I'm learning from you every day. Happy holidays, amen brother. Good lesson Jay, this video speaks from your heart. Happy holidays. Thank you, sir. Greatly appreciate the advice. Happy holidays to the Rideshare family. Thank you so much. I was getting discouraged watching other videos, but you're amazing. I'm subscribing to you. Thanks, Jay. You've helped me make up my mind to drive to Arizona for a few months. I decided to because I still can. There will be a time when I can't. I'm 60, so that time may, be, may not be far away. Long, live life, people. I always thanks for the advice. Very helpful. Thank you. I like this. I like the positive attitude. I needed this. So thank you so much. That was just an awesome, awesome read there. And uh, I am grateful. Uh, key takeaways. Uh, I, I do like drinking beer um, and it's fun to drink it uh, right now. Um, when you write videos and, and make articles and you put stuff out in the public arena, there's gonna be haters. Haters are gonna hate. And for that reason, I generally don't read comments um, because I don't find that it helps my, my capacity to continue putting out good output. Um, so I kind of like to work in a vacuum. I like to have myopia and stay focused. And I guess that's the key takeaway. If you're gonna be a public figure in any way, um, you gotta manage, manage what you put your eyeballs on because um, uh, it can really mess you up if you uh, take, take things a little too seriously. All right, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. And uh, if you haven't subscribed yet to our YouTube channel, please subscribe. And uh, this is Jay saying thanks for watching. Go out and have it, have it be a great day and be safe out there.